nice You should open your heart that wanna see what you so like Low life, but I'm telling you to go to here Today we have the first point update that is here for watchOS 10 and on my Apple Watch Ultra here, if we go into the settings and then go to general and go to software update, you can see it right there, watchOS 10.1 and the update size that I have here on my device is 239 megabytes updating from watchOS 10.1 beta 3 if you are updating to watchOS 10.1 for the first time then this update size is going to be slightly different if you want to see the download file size it's exactly 488.5 megabytes now if we go into the settings go to general and go to the about this watch section you can see the version we are on right now watch os 10.1 with the build number 21s67 now in terms of what's new with this update i put this here so that you can see my different complications that i have on my watch face this is the apple watch ultra one and you can see there when it comes to the weather complications i put multiples so that i can show you that at least for me this is working but at this point in time it's been four weeks since the release of watch os 10 and a number of users are still complaining about the weather complication and the weather widget not being updating in real time and sometimes the information you see on your iphone is different from that that you see on the apple watch so for me at least as of this update with watch os 10.1 this seems to have fixed the issue and also my uh, widgets or my watch faces rather are updating in real time so if i was to go to like um, a dynamic watch face like snoopy you can see it's raining right now and you can see snoopy is copying that depicting how it's functioning properly so this is something that i'm happy to report on but if you are still experiencing issues with watchOS 10.1 and you've updated definitely let others know in the comments section below and we'll be able to report the issue continuously to apple now when it comes to this update as well, another change that's here has to do with name drop. Now, if you have this works with watchOS 10.1 and if you're on watchOS 10, this feature wasn't enabled and it's recently just been enabled. So this works between Apple Watch and Apple Watch or it works between Apple Watch and iPhone. And all you have to do is basically just bring it the devices closer like this. and then boom that's how basically name drop works now if you wanted to edit this on your apple watch it's very easy to do you can basically go to your contact application and then you click on your profile right there you can see your profile right there and the information that's there and then you see the different numbers and information that you have but if you go all the way down and then click where it says share you can see there's this animation that's here that tells you all about name drop and how it works between Apple Watch and Apple Watch or how it works between Apple Watch and iPhone. And basically once you're on this screen, just do this, bring them close. And then you see this has now been shared to this iPhone. Only that this iPhone is my iPhone. It's my personal iPhone. And it's also the same that's connected with this. So if you have a person that you want to share to you just go to your contacts go to your profile and then click share and come close or bring the two watches together and then it will tell you that it's sharing the contact another new feature that's here within watchOS 10.1 has to do with the new feature that's only limited to the apple watch series 9 and the apple watch ultra 2 i hate how you have to go all the way to the bottom to go to the grid section so if you go into your settings right there you will go and be able to see that the under this gestures section if you click there and you have the apple watch series 9 or the apple watch ultra 2 then here you will see the double tap feature now this works between the thumb and the index fingers allowing you to be able to do the double tap feature like apple showed but if you have an old apple watch like the ultra one i have here or apple watch series 6 and later then you have 
assistive touch by means of accessibility and the way that works is actually pretty simple so you just have to go into your settings once you're in settings look for where it says accessibility right there and then when you go to where it says touch uh, let me just go down a little bit assistive touch right there and you enable it you can see basically you have a pretty similar function right there you can see if i want to press the digital crown i'll press it like that if i want to do this and then press the digital crown and go to my applications i can do that and then if i want to move front and back you can see basically this is assistive touch it's been here for like a year now and once you get to the app or section you want to open for example if i want to go to the weather one i just click there and then i clench like this and boom here is the weather section so this one doesn't work as smooth as the double tap feature but it's also one that's here and it allows you to be able to use your apple watch single-handedly and access the main functions of the apple watch and be able to use it like that so it's an alternative but if you want to use this assistive touch feature you need an apple watch series 6 or later the apple watch series 4 and series 5 don't support this now also there is a fix here for this update and this one um, it's a pretty good one because a lot of people have been complaining about battery both on the apple watch and on the iphone and you can see here that apple says that um, this watch always 10.1 when during its beta and it's in testing phases you can see they fixed an issue where increased battery consumption might occur when an apple watch running watch always 10.1 is paired with an iPhone with iOS 17.0 or watchOS 10.0 is paired with iOS 17.1 so this has been fixed and basically if you have your iPhone and it's on the beta and it's basically on like iOS 17.1 and your watch is on watchOS 10.0 you could have experienced degrading battery performance so Apple has fixed that issue and now you can update your phone without updating your watch or having to worry about the battery performance and draining as Apple has mentioned here now basically those are the new changes that are here within watchOS 10.1 let me know what you think about this update for me I'm going to be testing it out and um, with time maybe I'll be able to cover more things like battery and general device performance but overall if I was to go to where it says battery here and see my maximum health capacity last time it was on 99% and if we go here maximum health capacity you can see it's on 99 percent so this has remained unchanged and uh, that's a good thing so this is basically how watchOS 10.1 is on my apple watch ultra if you want to get to know more about ios mac os and maybe tv os in the future definitely hit that subscribe button now